Greetings, esteemed listeners. I am Master Thaldris, your guide through the annals of Eldari's storied past. Today, we embark on a journey to an era long before the glories of the arcane renaissance, to a time when our world was fragmented, yet ripe with potential. This is the Age That Was, also known as the Age of Many Crowns. In this epoch, the world was a patchwork of city-states and kingdoms, each ruled by its own sovereign, each vying for supremacy. It was an age of relentless ambition, where power was a fleeting commodity, constantly shifting from one hand to another. Eldari, in its infancy, was but a small state nestled among giants, a kingdom known more for its artistry and culture than for its military prowess. Our tale begins with the Kingdom of Eldari, a realm that valued the pursuit of knowledge, the creation of art, and the refinement of culture above all else. While its neighbors sharpened their swords and bolstered their armies, Eldari invested in the intellect of its people, founding the first school of arcane studies, a center of learning that would later shape the renowned Althoras of Lysenral, a figure whose name would echo through the ages. Surrounding Eldari were the mighty kingdoms of Valandor and Thuldris, whose names were whispered with both reverence and fear. Valandor, with its ethereal landscapes and a lineage of rulers steeped in history, was a beacon of beauty and sophistication. Its people were renowned for their mastery of the arcane, and its cities were adorned with the finest works of art, rivaling the heavens themselves in their splendor. Thuldris, on the other hand, was a bastion of strength and militarism. Its fortresses, carved into the very bones of mountains, stood as a testament to its indomitable spirit. The warriors of Thuldris were disciplined, their armies vast and well-equipped, ready to defend their lands against any who dared to challenge them. Thuldris was the shield that protected the realms from external threats, its might unmatched by any other kingdom. Eldari was not without other neighbours, however. To the north lay the kingdom of Arlathia, a land of vast forests and hidden groves. Arlathia was a kingdom of druids and rangers, its people deeply connected to the natural world. They wielded the magic of the earth itself, their power rooted in the ancient trees and the spirits of the wild. To the east, the kingdom of Pyrenor was a land of fire and stone, its people as resilient as the volcanoes that dotted their landscape. Pyrenor was a land of miners and blacksmiths, their forges burning day and night as they shaped metal into tools of war and trade. Further still, across the Sapphire Sea, lay the island nation of Queldara. This kingdom, isolated by the vast waters that surrounded it, was known for its maritime prowess and its mastery of water magic. The people of Queldara were skilled sailors and traders, their ships cutting through the waves with unmatched speed and precision. Their capital, built into the cliffs overlooking the ocean, was a marvel of engineering, a city where the sea and the land met in perfect harmony. Yet, despite its cultural prowess, Eldari was acutely aware of its vulnerabilities. It was a kingdom surrounded by powerhouses, and its leaders knew that the arts alone would not protect their people. Strategic alliances were forged with neighboring states, and Eldari became known for its diplomacy and cunning, always managing to stay one step ahead in the intricate dance of politics. However, even as Eldari prospered, the world around it was changing. The kingdoms of Valandor and Thuldris, though mighty, were not immune to the forces that sought to unseat them, and though Eldari's borders remained untouched, the shadows of unrest were beginning to grow for the shadow of something far darker and more sinister was beginning to loom on the horizon, a shadow that would soon cast its pall over the entire realm. As we reflect on this ancient age, it is important to remember the lessons of history. The strength of a kingdom lies not only in its armies, but in the unity of its people and the wisdom of its leaders. And as we shall see in our next episode, The Age of Embers, it would be this very wisdom that would be put to the ultimate test. Join us as we delve into the fires of conflict and ambition that would shape the fate of Eldari and its neighbors. Until then, may the wisdom of the past illuminate your path and may your dreams reach the heights of the stars. Farewell.